In this tutorial we will learn how to transform a position from screen space to world space in Unity 3D using C Sharp. In Unity and other game engines, screen space and world space are terms used to describe different coordinate systems. Screen space Screen space refers to the coordinate system that corresponds to the player's screen or display. The screen is divided into a two-dimensional grid, where the bottom left corner has coordinates 0, 0, and the top right corner has coordinates screen width, screen height. The unit of measurement in screen space is usually pixels. In screen space, the position of an object is defined relative to the screen. World space World space, also known as global space, is a coordinate system that represents the game world or scene. It is a three-dimensional coordinate system where objects are positioned in relation to each other within the game environment. The origin of the world space is usually located at a specific point in the game world. The unit of measurement in world space is arbitrary, and it is typically used to represent meters or units within the game. Next, we will briefly talk about five practical use cases where you might need to transform a position from screen space to world space in Unity. 1. User interaction. When developing a game or application, you often need to capture user input, such as mouse clicks or touches, in screen space. By transforming these screen positions into world space, you can determine where the user interacted with the game world. For example, you can use this technique to select objects or perform actions based on where the user clicked. 2. Object placement. In level editors or construction games, you may want to allow players to place objects in the game world by clicking on the screen. By transforming the screen position into world space, you can determine the exact position where the player wants to place the object. This allows you to instantiate or move objects at the desired location. 3. Raycasting. Unity's physics raycast function is often used to detect collisions between rays and objects in the scene. To specify the origin of the ray, you can transform a screen position into world space. This is useful for things like aiming systems, shooting mechanics, or interactive puzzles that require detecting hits on objects. For a GUI overlays, Unity allows you to overlay 2D or 3D graphical elements on top of the game view using GUI systems. Sometimes, you may need to align these GUI elements with specific positions in the game world. By transforming screen positions into world space, you can accurately position the GUI elements relative to objects in the game world. 5. UI Feedback UI feedback in Unity refers to the visual and interactive elements that provide information, guidance, or confirmation to the user. Displaying UI elements in specific locations on the screen based on the position of game objects can be achieved using screen space to world space conversion. These are just a few examples of how transforming positions from screen space to world space can be useful in Unity. The ability to convert between coordinate systems is crucial for accurately integrating user input, placing objects, performing raycasting, positioning GUI elements, and providing meaningful UI feedback in your Unity projects. Let us now learn how we can achieve this using C Sharp in Unity 3D. Let's consider a practical situation where you have a 2D game in Unity, and you want to transform the position of a point from screen space, pixel coordinates, into world space, world coordinates. For example, you might want to know the world position of the point where the player clicked on the screen. To accomplish this, you can follow these steps in Unity using C Sharp. Step 1. Capture the screen position. First, you need to capture the position where the user clicks on the screen. You can do this by handling the appropriate input event, such as a mouse click or touch event. For simplicity, let's assume we're using a mouse click event. This is the code for same. Step 2. Transform screen space to world space. Now, we need to transform the captured screen position into world space. Unity provides a helpful function called camera.screen to world point for this purpose. We'll use this function to perform the conversion. In this code snippet, we obtain the main camera using camera.main, assuming you have a camera in the scene. Then we use screen to world point to convert the screen pause from screen space to world space. 
The near clip plane parameter is the distance from the camera at which objects start to become visible, and it helps in determining the correct depth in world space. Step 3, use the world position. You now have the world position of the clicked point. You can use this position to perform any necessary calculations or interact with objects in your game world. Remember to attach this script to an appropriate game object in your scene, and make sure the camera component is assigned as the main camera in the Unity editor. That's it. You have successfully transformed a position from screen space into world space in Unity using C Sharp. We have covered everything for this tutorial. You can find all the code from link in description below. Please subscribe, like, comment and share my channel for further motivating me to make more such interesting videos for you. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.